I'm going to give you two guesses where we are today, but you're only going to need one. Oklahoma City is known for a few things. The Thunder, Bricktown, Tornadoes, but also Oklahoma Shirt Company. I started Oklahoma Shirt Company with the idea that it was going to be a temporary thing until I became a physician. I learned how to screen print from the greats, Jonathan at Catspit, right. Ryan at Ryanette, and any other Tom, Dick, or Harry that would put a how-to video on, uh, on YouTube, yourself right. included. We started in my garage. That went for a little while until my wife kicked us out. I would go to school during the day, and then at night I would come home and do sales orders or order blanks or do the graphic design. And then um, my buddy Jaron, who was playing music with me at the time, um, still does. He, uh, he would come at night and he'd screen print all night long. My philosophy early on was I was hiring my friends. I didn't know how difficult the screen printing industry was going to be, but I knew that I needed people that I could ask a whole lot of, that I couldn't necessarily pay a whole lot. Um, that would stick around till all the work is done. And so I went to my closest friends, and that started with Jaron, who was, has been my ride or die ever since. He's now our production manager. You know, there's about 40 of us that work here, and Jaron has gone through all of the iterations of being the dude on the manual press in my garage, to being the dude that learns how to figure out any new processes we're gonna do, to the guy that's gonna teach us how to discharge print today. One of the things you're known for is the subscription service you guys offer. Yep. So real quick, just walk us through that. I saw this opportunity that like, hey, we can screen print, uh, we can design, um, and we can source the garments and then we can fulfill. So let's try this shirt of the month thing. The magic happened in the small towns. All of a sudden people had access to these higher quality um, state pride shirts that they hadn't once had easy access to. We basically mail out a new Oklahoma themed tee on the first of the month. Every month you receive a new t-shirt in your mailbox. How do you organize and manage that for getting everything out on time? Um, it's a really big process. It's a big undertaking. We have uh, monthly rhythms that we stick to each month. Um, we fold and fulfill every package in-house. Um, so every t-shirt that arrives on someone's doorstep, like we've each touched in the process. So it's really it's really neat from printing to uh, mailing out. Uh, it's it's all done right here. That's part of our story. It's, it's part of the rocket boosters that helped get us to where we are today. So Justin, what are we gonna learn today? We don't claim to be experts in discharge printing. This is one of the decoration processes that we get to do occasionally. Primarily, we're a plastic all based shop. But today, we wanted to try to do something unique that would challenge us um, and that would challenge Jaron. And he's gonna get on uh, here in a little bit and explain how this discharge process works and this, this other product that we kind of accidentally discovered that's plastic charge which basically is a, there's a chemical additive you can add to your regular colors of Plastisol that you already have, and you get a similar, a right. similar process. We've seen a lot of really fantastic designs in this series, and I'm really excited about the one we're gonna look at today. So we're with Andrea Kane here at Oklahoma Shirt Company. So let's talk about how you created this design. So whenever I have a project, Justin comes to me, and if it's a random project, he'll just say, make something cool. You know, I, I hate that instruction, do something cool. Yeah, so, <laughs> but it's also fun for me because uh, I know that he just wants me to create something that I love and that he'll right. think is really awesome. So right. it kind of gives me a lot of freedom, but it also leaves a really open-ended question of what I'm going to design. I kind of just start looking at other artists' work and I kind of start looking at colors and, you know, layouts of things and I just try and get something from a bunch of different elements that I like and I try and mesh them together. And usually it happens completely randomly, especially with something like this where I'm just kind of doodling and I'm like, oh, that kind of works. So, and then I just kind of dive into it. Right. Okay, so this design, one of the things I really love is the registration marks as the earrings. I thought yeah. that was really cool. <laughs> so this is my messy workspace page. Um, all, all these photos around are things that I just took inspiration from or things that I really liked and wanted to just look at while I'm creating. Uh, actually, this right here is my rough that I showed Justin and Jaren and they said, awesome, go for it. I start adding text and I start adding textures and I start playing with how I'm going to to use my color palette to bring out the best composition. There are many ways to make screens for discharge. Today, we're going to harden the screen rather than using a different emulsion. 
So Jaron Martin is the production manager here. Yep. So walk us through what we're going to do today. Yeah, so we're going to image a screen with our Kiwo XTS machine. It's going to print on the screen itself. Then we're going to wash it out with water. And then we're going to use a hardener um, to really firm up and set in the stencil that we've created so that when we put the plastic charge or discharge ink in the screen, it doesn't eat away and destroy the emulsion. So why do that rather than using a different emulsion? Uh, it's convenience for us. We get to buy one product. We get to stock one product. Um, we, it's, it's a product that we know and we like and it exposes really fast for us. We use a 195 screen because I find that it holds the detail that we want for a lot of prints, and we'll find later that plastic charge or discharge ink is really, really low viscosity, um, and we don't want it coming through or dripping through a screen like it might on a lower mesh count, like a 110 or something. Okay, so now it's time to mix some ink. Yes, so Jaron, tell us about mixing some custom plastic charge for our job today. Yes, so what are we doing? We are mixing Plasti Charge Ink. Plasti Charge Ink is an additive that you add to your off-the-shelf regular Plastisol that sort of transforms it into a discharging ink, right? So normal, traditional discharge ink is a water-based ink that you add a discharging agent to. It bleaches the shirt and then applies the water-based color. Plasti Charge has that same discharge agent. It bleaches the shirt and instead of adding the water-based color, it adds a plastisol color. So we're adding this to ready-to-use ink, yep. and it's just a simple math problem with our scale, it's right? A, it's a really, really simple problem. So we're going to do 50% plastisol, 50% P-charge, 7% additive, right? We're going to make 600 grams. That should get us through our print run. So that's going to be 300 grams of plastisol. 300 grams of P-Charge, and then 42 grams of our additive. Once you add this additive, this discharge agent, it's going to give this ink a pot life or a shelf life, right? You're looking at four to six hours before this ink goes bad, and refrigeration can sort of slow that ink degrading process. For a job like this with these special inks and this a uh, little bit unique process, uh, we give ourselves a little bit more time, just to make sure that we're accurate in our uh, estimations. Hey, an interesting thing about discharge is the fact that when they're setting up and when they're printing, the colors are gonna look a little muted and it takes the heat of the dryer to actually activate the ink remove the dye of the shirt, and then activate the colors. So it's going to look kind of weird until it goes to that dryer. What are some tips that people might want to look out for to make sure they're running this type of job correctly? Uh, Garmin. Make sure that you're testing on the kind of garment you're going to run with. Because Plasti Charge only really works on natural organic fibers. Uh, if you're using like heavy polyester blends, then it's probably not going to turn out the way you want it to. So you can't use a 50-50? You can, but the difference between a 50-50 and 100% cotton is gonna be pretty significant. We're using Jersey Dry Power shirts, they're 100% ring spun cotton, which is a real soft ring spun garment and really accepts uh, Plasti Charge really well. And it's discharged great, it, these look yeah, awesome. They, they look really, really good. Everything's discharging all the way out, there's no modeling, it's a real strong, solid color. So during the print run, if you had a problem, what typically shows up as an issue when you're doing this? Uh, the reason we harden the screens, the emulsion will start to fall apart, right? And so when that happens, you got to plug a new screen in. You right. Know, when you're doing 5,000 shirts that are plastic charged, then you should probably burn a backup set. Okay, that's a good tip. Yep. So one of the things I really appreciate about your story and the things that you guys are doing is just that you're willing to take action. Mm -hmm. And I think so many shops in this industry have that, I'm the spider in the web yeah. and all my business yeah. needs to land in my web for me yeah. to do anything. You guys are on the offensive with yeah. the subscription service or the stuff that you've done here locally in yeah. your city where you, you guys are actively reaching out and getting your business and pulling it in, yeah. which is the right way to do it. And so that's just awesome. You gotta be that tarantula. Right? You don't you don't make a web, you gotta get your ass out of your office and go hunt. Right. And and also 
project a good, like make sure that you're projecting your business as something that's adding value to the community. Not just your, your shop on the corner of the street that hangs a shingle and waits for people to come in. What we care about is the people that we work with, the community that we're a part of, and how we can give back and how we can leave our fingerprints on this city and make it just a little better. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get the shirt. Yeah, you wanna go back a little bit, a little right. bit more. Yeah, there you go, baby. All right, here we go, you ready? Hit it. Winner. Oh. oh. So it looks like I'm a big loser today, but the great thing is I know the owner. So Justin, can you help me out here? I got you, bud. Oh man. Thank That's you, great. Marshall. Appreciate awesome. it, brother. Look how awesome this came out on the Jersey's ring spun 100% cotton shirt. The discharge came out perfect. You can't feel it at all. It's just fantastic. I love how the colors pop. All of these were discharged print on the black. It's great. Thanks for everything today, Justin. Your team was great. The shirts came out fantastic. Yeah, I love it. Everything pops. You guys rocked it. Yeah, and thanks for coming out, Marshall. Um, it's always a pleasure having you here at the shop. And thank you, Jerseys. You know, it starts with a great garment. The way to get a great screen print is with a great substrate. Uh, and also, speaking of subscriptions like we talked about earlier, make sure you subscribe to Jersey's YouTube channel uh, to Adventures in Apparel Decorating. Awesome. Well, that's a wrap. Awesome. Thank you, Marshall.